Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. I do all these lead code hack rank challenges. I explain the algorithms. People don't understand the code. I'm here to help you understand the code. Uh, this is a newer problem. Find town judge um, in a town. It's it's nice. It's got a little storyline to it. So, in a town, we're in a town. There's n people. Uh, people labeled from one to n. So, you know, I see people walking down the street. I might see a one. I might see a two. I might see a three. How's it going, four? What's up, five? You know, you see all these people, right? From one to N. Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's a small town. Maybe there's 10 people. Maybe there's 100. There's N people. There is a rumor. So there's a rumor going around town. Like, you know, two told me, you know, some juicy stuff about this. One of these people is secretly the town judge. Okay. Now we have to figure this out. The town judge exists. If the town judge exists, then the town judge trusts nobody. So this is a very untrusting person. This person is walking around the streets. You think everyone's cool, but this person doesn't trust any of us. Everybody trusts this person, though. So that's the thing. Like, you know, maybe it's two. Maybe it's two who tells me the secrets, you know? I don't know. I have no idea. It could be anyone, right? So... Everyone trusts this person, but this person doesn't trust anyone else. There's one person that satisfies one and two, and that is the town judge. You are given a trust, you're given trust an array of pairs. So A, B, where A trusts B. So the person in the first index trusts the person in the second index. If the town judge exists, we want to return who they are. Otherwise, negative one. So one, two. One trusts two, true, but two doesn't trust one because if two trusts one there would be a two comma one array so two doesn't trust anyone one trusts two so everyone trusts two and uh yeah that is the town judge two one trusts three two trusts three but three doesn't trust anyone so three is the town uh judge um one trusts three two trusts three but three does trust someone so there's no town judge uh you know you look through all these examples right so how do we figure this out how do we figure out who the town judge is. We need to figure this person out, right? Um, this person's judging everyone, just walking around town judging everyone, right? Okay. So to do this, it's pretty clever. We're just going to, I'll just code it out. Basically, we're going to use a uh, count array, much like you do with like a char map. And this is going to keep track of how many, we're going to keep like a, um, how much people trust you count and how much you trust someone else. And basically what's going to happen is we're going to, inc every time someone trusts you, we'll increment your count uh, and we'll do this index based. So basically we're going to have an array called, um, you know, count is equal to new int and we'll do it at n plus one because it's from one to n. So there's no zero, there's nobody labeled zero, but they're all labeled one to n. So we just add plus one because it goes up to index n. Uh, great. And then each, the person's index, so one's trust level if, so, if a bunch of people trust one, it'll go up a lot. And when someone when one trusts someone, it'll go down. So the person who is the town judge will have all of the trust. It will have N minus one as its index because all of the people except for themselves will trust that person and they trust nobody. So it'll be N minus one. So we just have to basically fill up this array with their trust values. And then after check, whose trust value is n minus 1, and that person is the rat, and we found them. Okay, um, so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to loop through int arrays of uh, t in uh, trust, and we're going to say, you know, count of t of 0. This is the person that is trusting someone else. So we're going to decrement, you know, that's just, they're just less likely to be town judge. Once you get decremented, you, once you trust someone, you're basically out, you know? So, um, when you're getting incremented though, you know, you're definitely in consideration here. So here we go. You're getting all the trust. And once we fill these arrays up, right, that's pretty much it. All we have to do now is go from I equals one, every index up into N of all the people and check all their trust counts. And if the trust count of one of the people is equal to n minus one, it means that everyone but themselves trusted them. So they got plus, 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 plus. All the people trusted them. 
and they didn't trust anyone else, so it didn't decrement too far. So we just return I. We found the culprit, um, and that's it. And then if we didn't find anyone, then we just return negative one. Pretty easy problem. Sorry for being very eccentric, uh, but you know I did like five problems today. What did I do wrong? Did I do something wrong here, people? I don't think so. Output negative one expected two. Less than or equal to n. Oh, my bad. Sorry, I think it was less than or equal to n because we have to go up to the n index. So the very last index as well. Sorry about that. Uh, that was my fault. Yeah, sorry for being eccentric. I've done, you know, a ton of problems today. It's 1 p.m. to almost 2 p.m., but I've already made six videos, so I'm a little bit tired. And, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, find light. And uh, it gets a little boring after you do a lot of leak code. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe so I can grow my channel. And, you know, you know whatever you can do to support me. I really appreciate everyone that watches the videos. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.